Hello, I'm Brian Patterson, a sales engineer here at OpenMesh, and I'm going to show you a quick overview of CloudTrax just to see how quick and easy it is to manage the CloudTrax network. So on the All Networks page, you can get a quick overview of all the networks you manage. Whether it's just a few networks or hundreds, we make it really easy to see the critical info about the network at a glance, um, such as a number of APs, down APs, and their firmware version. This is the network overview page. It lets you quickly see how your network is doing, such as how many users are connected, and how much bandwidth usage there has been over time. On the access points page, you can see the status of your access points, including the number of clients, data usage, mesh speeds, and uptime. If you click on an access point, you can get more detailed information about it. From here, you can see options to change radio settings, neighbors in the mesh, and you can also use other tools from this section. To add a new access point, simply click the Add New button, then type in the name and the MAC address and click Add. You can click and drag the AP on the map to a location that represents where it actually is, or you can upload a floor plan to associate it to. Once the AP is plugged in and online, it will check into CloudTrax and download its configuration. The Switches page looks very similar to the Access Points page, but you can see switch-specific spe information such as active ports and PoE budget. When you click on a switch, you can see a graphical representation of the switch. Green ports mean that a port is active and passing data. Gray means the port is active but not connected. Black means that the port is disabled. The numbers represent PoE status, with orange meaning PoE is enabled, and white means that PoE is disabled on that port. Down below is where you can change per port settings such as VLANs, link aggregation, and PoE budget, including how much power each port is currently drawing. On the clients page, you can see what devices have connected to your network over the period of time set at the top of the page and how much bandwidth they've used. You can also see how much bandwidth usage specific applications have used. We filter usage based on the top 150 services such as Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, and Google, and P2P services such as BitTorrent. Here you'll find your SSID settings. This is where you can set a WPA password, bandwidth throttling, and a splash page. We make it really easy to set up a splash page. We have many professional templates available, and you can easily edit the content just like you would a Word document. We also have the option to connect to your Facebook page where a third-party cap capture portal service like Turnstile Cloud4Y, or ZenReach. If you don't want your SSID to be available during certain times, such as when a business is closed, you can set up a schedule for when the SSID is active, and CloudTrax will automatically turn on and off the SSID during those times. At the bottom of the page is where you can enter a VLAN tag to bridge the SSID to a specific VLAN if you wish. On the radio page, you can set network-wide radio settings, such as transmit power and channels. I recommend setting the network to auto and that will let CloudTrax take care of setting each AP to the best channel based on other Wi-Fi interference in the area. Auto channel updates will take place during your maintenance window. On the maintenance page, this is where you set if you want upgrades to be installed automatically, and the maintenance window is when those updates will take place. You'll want to set that for a time when the network is at least in use. On the advanced page, you can see several options such as the alternate DNS and bridge options. Bridge wired clients is, is the SSID that devices connected to one of the AP's Ethernet ports will be bridged to. So if that SSID has a splash page, those wired clients would also see a splash page. The bridge SSID is the SSID that would be able to access your wired LAN to get to resources such as printers and servers. That is a brief overview of CloudTrax features. If you'd like to see a more in-depth demo, please join us for one of our webinars, or we can set up a call with a sales engineer to answer your questions.